BXB. It's in the game! When I was first given this game by my editor-in-chief, thank you by the way, I was expecting a really nice fast-paced top-down uh, shooter game in the same kind of mindset as the old Contra Metal Slug style uh, of gameplay, maybe over the head early Grand Theft Auto style. I know I had a relative level of excitement about that because there aren't many indie games out there that would go back to such a old school style of gameplay, graphics and sound effects. And unfortunately it doesn't take much to understand my disappointment when I finally got around to playing it. So while it delivers in its style of gameplay, which is quoted as fast paced top down action shooter, yes it is fast paced, it is top down, it is a shooter. But everything about it seems to drag down its quality. And I think this game had a lot of potential and a lot of good intentions from the developers and they had the right idea, but right now I just don't think it's ready to have been rolled out to the public. Yes, it did take me back to a nostalgic level of my gaming childhood, but every little detail about it is just subpar and altogether rolls out a really big disappointment for me. A couple of examples such as on the menu, it doesn't highlight anything when you choose a level, or make any significant sound when you choose one, so it feels kind of cheap and not finished. If you choose the wrong item, uh, such as a new game or continue, you can't go back, you're screwed if you've gotten relatively far to start a new game again. Uh, you can't really adjust anything in the in-game, such as your volume or controls, you have to exit back to the main menu. And while the game itself, yeah, is kind of early 90s style of animations, and so is the music. But the sound effects are awful and sound like they're from a game from the 60s. Pong had better sound effects. It reduces the combat satisfaction of the game. The shotgun doesn't feel like it makes a good boom. It doesn't take a while per shot or anything. It makes a little noise when you fire it. And that goes for all the weapons, really. There's no real sound for reloading it, so you don't really know whether or not your game is glitching out or if you're actually reloading. The character moves really slowly and yet some of the animations in the game are in fact really fast so certain mini bosses can shoot projectiles that move so fast that you can't even avoid them. And when you die there's no real menu for the game for you to look through. You can't click retry, you can't click to go back to main menu. One frame you're dead, the next it starts off at the previous checkpoint. The enemies don't really have a death sound or an animation, one second they're there standing up, the next they're just a blood stain on the ground. Now the most frustrating part is that when I finished the level I had a choice of going two different directions and no matter which one I chose I ended up at the beginning of level one again. At the end of each level I also lost all my weapons I had collected up till then, going back to the basic pistol which is just just rubbish. There appears to be no dialogue, no subtitles, no story, so I don't know why I'm just this mercenary running around shooting people in the face. I could be a serial killer for all I know and it will completely change the, uh, the way I look at the game. I feel like I didn't even get far enough to actually figure out how to upgrade the characters. They claim they've got unique armor, weapons and abilities, but it doesn't give me any idea of how to actually change them. You get some money at the end of each level which you get to put towards like having a higher armor or health stat for your character, but there's no menu between the levels which enables me to go into this area so that I can actually up my stats. Gameplay wise as well, they boasted controller support but I actually found it easier to play this game with a mouse and keyboard. There's actually no achievements for us to actually have fun trying to collect as we play. The game also comes with a sandbox mode, but I don't really see a point of it, it's just wave after wave of people that keep coming in and you don't seem to get anything extra from it, you don't get any money that goes towards upgrading your character. It's just a continuous cycle and there's nothing to it. All in all the game just feels completely buggy and completely unfinished. It's a huge resounding disappointment for me and if I could give it zero stars I would but it's going to have to bear, take the bare minimum of one. I honestly don't know what I expected from a publisher like Back to Basics Gaming when their top game on their list is Turbo Pug. Thank you all for watching, this has been another BXB Game Review, my name's Cameron and if you'd like to read some more of our other reviews head on over to bxbgames.co.uk and you can also follow us on Twitter at bxbgames. Thanks again and I will see you in the next review.